Hello everyone, I am Matt Taylor and this is my variety channel. Today I'm going to show you how to take out the green screen uh, background from your footage using Adobe Premiere. In my last video I did a, a tutorial on how to key out the green using After Effects and now I'm going to show you how to do it using Premiere. It's uh, pretty simple, let's go ahead and get right to it. So here we go, we have my uh, Premiere project open, a brand new project. And now I want to drag in some footage. And I'm going to just take this file right here, matte green screen, and drag that over. Um, or you could also just go up to File and then do Import that way, or Command-I on the Mac. Now we want to also bring in our um, background. So I have my background JPEG here. Just drag that over there. And my background is of a classroom because I am presenting some content. Now what we want to do, um, pretty easy, you just make a new sequence. Just click on your footage there, your green screen footage, and just do right click. And do new sequence from clip. There's a variety of ways to do that. That's just the way I like to do it. And now what I'm going to do is grab my uh, video layer here and just drag it up one layer. That way we can come in and grab our background over here in the top left corner there in our project folder and drag that down over here. And now you'll notice that the background is uh, you know, just the length of the, the JPEG, whatever you have the JPEG's length set to. And we're gonna wanna drag that over the full length of our footage in this case. And then if you wanted to switch out backgrounds in, you know, during the video, then you can just um, put different backgrounds in on this um, bottom layer as well, the bottom video layer, so video one. Great, so now we wanna just start taking out that green. We're gonna use an effect called Ultra Key. In After Effects, the um, keying, uh, the keyer effect is called Key Light 1.2. And in Premiere, the main one that we're gonna use, there's a variety of them, but the one that works, seems to work the best is Ultra Key. And you can just type in Ultra Key if you want, or just type in Keying, uh, or Key, and either way, you'll find the Keying folder and the Ultra Key. So go ahead and drag that over and put that right on your green screen footage. And then with that layer still selected, let's go ahead up here to effect controls and now you'll see our different uh, things that we have available to us with the ultra key all right, all right so now what we want to do is we want to pick a key color and so we want to change this black to one of the greens here so go ahead and click kick that click that eye eyedropper and then come over here to your footage and we want to pick a green if you'll notice in this green there is a difference between the, green, between the green up here and the green down here. It's kind of important to make sure that your, black, your background green is as evenly lit as possible so you have like one solid green color this whole time. It makes it a little more difficult in Premiere uh, when the background isn't completely green. And, and After Effects, it's no problem to clean that up. It'll take a little bit more cleaning to do here in Premiere. Um, also, we'll want to crop out this corner up here as well. But I'm just gonna go ahead and pick one of these greens down here. It's kind of an in between these two, that one. And it does a pretty good job right away, which is pretty neat. What we wanna do is come over here to um, composite now, and I'm gonna switch this to the alpha channel so we can see what's going on. And ideally, we want all of this to be completely black like it is down here, and make sure that I am completely white and that will be a nice um, a matte difference. So come over here to matte generation. And first let's start with pedestal. Let's bring that up a little bit. 90 looks pretty good. And then you can see here on my head and whatnot, there's some parts that aren't keying out correctly. If we go back over here to composite, um, you can see it on my face here. And if we play it, 
Hello and welcome to Deep Onion Academy video. It's not bad the way it is, but let's clean it up just a little bit more. And now we can play around with some of this other stuff. Transparency, you can play around with a little bit. That's pretty good. The tolerance, you may or may not, you may or may not want to play with the tolerance. Okay, so there you go. Now let's switch it back over to composite. Now that looks pretty good. And one thing I love about Premiere is just the ability to just watch it live, key out live. Our goal in this video is to help you learn about Deep Onion Vote Central. You don't need to um, like render it. Like in After Effects, you need to do like a little uh, RAM preview, a render, and it could take a little while. Um, but my computer is pretty old and it just keys on the fly here in um, Premiere really well. That looks pretty good. There's some things happening on the edges that I want to clean up a little bit. Let me make this a little bit bigger. Some, thing on the, some things on the edges that we want to clean up a little bit. Let's go over to mat cleanup and we're going to just choke the mat a little bit. Maybe about three, we'll soften the edge a little. Okay. A little bit on the contrast and midpoint. So you just kind of fiddle with these a little bit till kind of you get the look that you want. And then spill suppression, you may or may not do much with this. But see, there's a little bit of green spill on my face and the suppression with the range, you can try to clean that up a little bit so it's not so green. It's not too bad though. And then the color correction, we can play with this just a little bit to try to match me a little bit better. I already match fairly well to this background um, and I can just maybe take the saturation down on me just a little bit. Hue, I don't want to change the hue. Luminance, we can brighten me up a little bit if we want. Something like that. And you could always add another layer of color correction if you want. So that looks pretty good. Now I can just play through it a little bit. Hello and welcome to Deep Onion Academy videos. Our goal in this video is to help you learn about... Yeah, so that looks really good. So there you go. That's a really simple way in how you can key um, green screen footage out of um, or in Premiere. Another thing I want to do before I forget is I want to crop out this corner. And I'm just going to come down here and type in crop. Drag that over. And then we'll just take this left side over a little bit. You don't want to go too far because then you can cut off your arm and stuff. So just enough to crop that out. All right. Pretty cool. And then let's say we want to do um, some presentation of elements over here on the right. Then what I'll do is I will just take, go up here to motion, I'll position me over here, maybe scale me down a little. and put me uh, right about there. Really cool, so it's a pretty powerful tool. And then we can change the backgrounds with other backgrounds in between if we want, like alternating backgrounds, things of that nature. And uh, it's just pretty awesome. Pretty awesome what you can do in just Premiere itself without having to use After Effects. I still prefer After Effects for Keen, um, but every once in a while if you wanna do something just real quick, you can do it in Premiere as well, especially if it's just a basic project. There you go. Thanks for watching. I'm Matt Taylor. This is the Matt Taylor Variety channel. Make sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you'll be notified anytime I have a new video. Until next time, happy editing, everyone.